Authorities found no evidence of connection to domestic terrorism in a fatal car crash outside New Year's Eve concert in Rochester, New York, that killed two people and injured nine others. Authorities said Tuesday. Law enforcement sources said the suspect, whom authorities identified as 35-year-old Michael Avery of Syracuse. Authorities Tuesday morning found no evidence that Avery was motivated by political or social bias. In the incident in which he crashed two vehicles, one filled with gas canisters, before crashing into a crowd outside a concert at Rochester's Kodak Center, said Rochester Police Chief David M. Smith. So far we have uncovered no evidence of any ideology or connection to international or domestic terrorism, FBI agent Jeremy Bell said at a news conference Tuesday. Still, domestic terrorism is being considered as a possible motive in the case. Law enforcement officials told CNN. Lorne Malden was attending a concert at Kodak Center in Rochester, New York, when he witnessed the fatal car crash in front of concert venue on New Year's Day. Malden told CNN he took this about 20 minutes after the crash. Courtesy of Lorne Malden the FBI defines domestic terrorism as actions that violate U.S. state law, involve actions that are dangerous to human life are intended to intimidate coerce civilians, influence government policy through intimidation coercion, massively influence government behavior, destruction, assassination or kidnapping. Live updates latest developments on fatal Rochester crash as revelers were walking in crosswalk outside venue after midnight Monday. Avery, who was driving a rented Ford SUV, crashed into a Mitsubishi Outlander that was leaving parking lot with two passengers in backseat. Smith said, the force of collision sent the vehicles toward a group of pedestrians in crosswalk. Smith said, nine pedestrians were injured in the crash. Smith said Tuesday, Avery's family was interviewed by investigators. Authorities say the suspect's family believes he was bipolar. Although he was undiagnosed, the suspect had no previous contact with law enforcement, Smith said. A source familiar with investigation previously told CNN that the suspect left a suicide note and diary in his hotel room. But authorities later said a search of room did not turn up any suicide note or diary. Timeline of suspect's actions The Rochester Police Department released this photo of Michael Avery. The suspect in a fatal car crash outside a concert in Rochester. Rochester, New York police authorities said Avery drove his personal vehicle to Rochester around deck 27 and checked into the Woodspring Suites Hotel. At Tuesday's news conference, Smith said he rented a Ford Expedition from a rental agency at the Rochester airport on the afternoon of deck 29. At this time, Avery accelerated crossed into the oncoming traffic lane, and appeared to be intentionally driving into the crosswalk, Smith said. At least a dozen gasoline canisters were found after Florida.